Can I sit with you? <laughs> All right, so right now we are in Indiana. As you can see, we are not in the borough, but in a hotel. So how did we get here? Um, yeah, so the last campground we went to ended up having no cell service. As, and as you may know, we are working from the road. And so during certain times of the week, we need to have reliable cell service. And that wasn't gonna be an option at this campsite. So once again, we found ourselves in a situation that we've been getting pretty familiar with where we're scrambling to figure out what we do next. Do we go to our next destination and hope there they have better service? Do we book a hotel? Do we just sit here and cry? And we ended up deciding that in this situation, because there was gonna be another heat wave coming through this week, we would rent a hotel. And so we went to the closest town, which happened to be Fort Wayne, again, in Indiana. Don't know anything about this area. Um, feels pretty much in the middle of nowhere, but it did have hotels, so that's a plus. And so that's where we ended up spending our week. Since then, we've made a pretty big decision. We've decided to change our plans. Instead of going up north further and then across to the west coast and then down, we're actually gonna go directly to California to my parents. Once we get to California, we hope to kind of relax for a little bit and then use my parents' house as a home base to then do little mini trips maybe throughout the west coast, maybe even bigger ones if we're up for it. We're just trying to get home. Um, I think we're just a little bit burnt out and so we need a reset but that doesn't mean it's over and we'll definitely take you along with our journey if we go back out and travel and do anything interesting bar related or just travel related we still have a lot of exciting things coming up for us in the upcoming months to next year and so stay tuned to see what we're up to you liking this <laughs> Kisses? Oh, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> Our lovely view of the highway. We are Becca and Matt. And we're full-time travelers working remotely. We are currently traveling the United States for a 13-foot Boro camper. And our two cats, Grace and Peach. Right now, we are exploring the Northeast for the summer. And then heading back west before winter. Like and subscribe to follow along our journey. Cheers! And we've taken no time in using up the kitchen. That's some ravioli with Brussels and pesto. And as you can see, we know how to make a mess when we have the space for it. One day, 10 hours away from California, starting in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Goal for the day is to make it to Davenport in Iowa. Six hours, 40 minutes away. We find ourselves starting from scratch. Brick by brick. No path carved out for us now. The brush is thick. So this truck is reflected and we're not in it. So turns out we're invisible. I don't want to be invisible. <laughs> It's our second day of driving, or is the start of it. We are in Des Moines, Iowa. It's supposed to be 100 degrees here today, so I'm glad we're leaving. Although we're in an air-conditioned hotel, so it <clears throat> wouldn't be that bad. But we are going to try. It's currently Saturday today. We're going to try to get there by Monday, which means we have about 8 to 9 hours of driving for the next 3 days which I'm really not looking forward to. Pro tip, if you're traveling with cats, make sure, I don't know how you can, but it's annoying when the beds you can actually go under because that's exactly where a cat will hide. Also, Peach has been above the microwave, um, but that would be a little easier in a way to get her. On to Wyoming, I think, today, right? Uh, we'll keep you updated. <sighs> It's hot and the girls are really not happy with us. 
So we had to dig them out from under the bed and they were crying the whole way down. Yes. What's the difference between unleaded and super unleaded? They're both 87, <laughs> one's cleaner for Iowa and 30 cents cheaper. If you know, answer us in the comments. <laughs> Does 60 hot? cents cheaper. I was, anyways. Wow, what a deal. We're losing it. Here we go, nine hours to Cheney, Wyoming. So we're just gonna drive all the way through Nebraska. We'll see if we can make it. <laughs> I know that you're tired, my love, but please don't go. There's valleys and mountain tops on this rocky road. Oh. Big timing. The other one. <laughs> All right, just booked us a room on booking.com. That's been our go to. I think I'm getting burnt. As you can see, we're driving west, so the sun's right on our face. And um, yeah, that's all the updates. We are arriving at 8 30. We've been or we've been driving since 10, but technically we've had an hour time shift, so it'd be like maybe at 11, so we were about a 10 hour drive day today. Yay! <laughs> so we just drove straight across Nebraska in one day. Isn't that crazy? The answer is yes, it is crazy. We wouldn't recommend it, um, but we've survived. And we've seen a lot of air streams. Good news is we've survived 100 degree weather the last two days. Looks like we're in, ooh, it's 78 outside. I got grace here, <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. And the rest of the trip, the high should be in the low 80s. So, woo, we did it. And we're about 40 minutes from our destination. Anyways, we're in Wyoming. That's pretty cool. I've never been to Wyoming before. Have you, Grace? Cowboy land. Yeah. Cowboy land. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get off because the lighting is horrendous, but that's all. Love and prosper. <laughs> that's the capital of Wyoming. Cheyenne. Literally, we have seen nothing but fields, and we were like, okay, our destination's coming up. Where is this? And I was like, well, Matt, it's probably like a small town. And he's like, no, it's the capital of Wyoming. <laughs> she didn't believe me. Yeah, I had to look it up. But it's, a, it look, it's supposed to be a cute little town, but it looks like we're a little bit outside of it because we're driving by what you just saw. So, also, I had a really hard time seeing it, like Cheyenne. Like, every time I say it, I have to think it. It smelled to me not the way I would say it. But anyways, that's a different argument for a different day. We're losing it because we're hungry, we're tired, and it's been a long day. And the sun was in our eyes for like half of it. But we're almost there. Five minutes. We made it to our lovely hotel. Girls are happy. We got friends on. And we got pizza. It's only like 10.30, but... <sighs> Good morning! Oh, there's me! Um, it's a beautiful morning in Cheney. Said it wrong again! Cheyenne! Cheyenne, Wyoming! <laughs> oh, the lighting won't work, it's just a parking lot. Go get some free breakfast. I'm doing a little bit quick stretching, because my back is killing me from all this sitting. But otherwise, it was actually a really comfortable sleep. Um, might want to take the pillows with me. So we just got into our first um, traffic jam, which is actually pretty impressive for how long we've been or how far we've been driving. But right now, if like we're trying to get to this next exit and get off, that's supposed to save us two hours. Good news is it is only 82 degrees outside. <laughs> we just filled up our gas tank. 
and the engine light's not on, so we're good. And hopefully we can get off this exit. We made it to the exit, and we're on here for 11 miles, and then I think we have to get try to get back on the highway. So yeah, we literally drove by all that traffic, and then suddenly it just cleared. So a little confusing, but that's a good sign. And the traffic's back. And back on the highway we go. Yay. Up until very recently, I was pretty convinced that having a camper, something we tow, was the best fit for us. Oh, brewing company. Focus, man. And um, it's a little too bright. I gotta put these back on. Because that way, we could unhitch and take our car go places the girls could stay safely in the camper it would just give us a little bit more flexibility but then the heat came <laughs> in summer and i have a few more requirements in my home on wheels if we would do this for a prolonged time and they may change once we've kind of shaken off <laughs> our summer troubles but that is, we want our own bathroom. We want air conditioning. We want to be, we want to be kind of off grid. So we want to have like power that we can supply either from batteries or solar. Those out there, if you have experience with camper life or van life, which one do you prefer and why? Let me know below in the comments which one, camper or van. Hello everybody, we kind of um, just didn't film the rest of yesterday apparently. It got dark, it was a very long drive and we finally made it to our hotel at like 10.30 last night so we just crashed. But today's our last driving day. It's technically about an eight hour drive but it'll probably take us more than that because we can't go quite the speed limit with this camper setup. Last driving day we should be at my parents by tonight and we are ready for it, so. So, we were filming this. We're pretty sure this is like a sand storm. I don't even know what you call it, but you can see behind me, it's like completely gray out now. It's a very weird sensation. We saw it driving into it and it just looked like this massive wall of dust. And then the road turned and we went straight into it. So, um, but vision isn't bad, but it's weird, middle of Nevada. Oh, and it's 100 degrees, so yay. <laughs> Almost there, We, I think we made it to Reno, Nevada. So we have about four-ish hours to our destination probably more like five because of traffic and everything but oh, we're almost there we're almost there california where do i start Minutes, 14 minutes from pulling into my parents' driveway. It's a beautiful 
sunset going on and we did it. We drove halfway across the country from Indiana to California in four days. Don't know how we did it. Wouldn't have recommended, but we did it. And the girls actually have been very chill today. And I'm just ready to not set foot into a car for a moment. So anyway, thanks for following along. And don't worry, this doesn't mean we're not traveling anymore. We're just gonna take maybe a few weeks to decompress, clean the camper, figure out our next plan, and then we'll be back on the road in some shape or form. So thanks for following along and stay tuned. Good night.